Yo, yo, yo. This is Sly the Rapper. He fooled the internet with an AI Kendrick Lamar song, and I'm gonna show you how you can do that also. Artificially generated music isn't anything new. It actually goes as far back as the 1950s, but I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. The first instance of modern AI music was released by Google in 2016, and now we have songs like this. I came AI music used to be a thing only scientists and programmers could access. Now it's available to anyone with a browser. I mean, even Drake is getting in on this. He just released a song featuring AI verses from Tupac and Snoop Dogg. So how did this 23 year old actually do this? Well, he used a software called Voiceify or Jammable, which only takes existing vocals and uses AI to create a voiceover for different artists. So unless you want to actually write your own song, record it, then generate your voice to sound like another artist, this probably isn't the best software to use. I mean, you may as well just make your own song at that point. He told Complex News that he took around one to two hours to write the song, which kind of explains it. The lyrics themselves aren't the greatest. So just a bit of background here on the song. I'm gonna keep it brief because I'm sure you guys don't care as much. But basically there's this dude, he's pretty popular. You might've heard of him. Goes by the name of Drake. He released a song that dissed Kendrick Lamar, Metro Boomin, The Weeknd, and a whole bunch of other artists, which was actually a response to a Kendrick Lamar diss that he dropped in Metro Boomin's recent album, We Still Don't Trust You. So the AI song that was created by this dude was a diss track responding to Drake recent song. Eventually, the dude gave in and made a TikTok admitting that his song was AI generated, although people didn't really believe him at first because can we really believe anything we see on the internet these days? It wasn't until he did the interview with Complex and actually provided proof that he made the song, people started to believe him. Okay, so enough about him. How can you actually do this yourself? Okay, maybe you're not gonna fool the internet into believing Taylor Swift just dropped another album, but I'm gonna teach you how you can make an entire song from scratch using artificial intelligence. And it's actually pretty simple. The software is called Suno AI, and it's one of the best AI music generators out there right now. So just head on over to suno.com and you'll have four tabs here on the side. Obviously, we're gonna go here to create, just make your account and you'll be good to go. So they have this Suno showcase, which is pretty cool if you wanna check out what other people are creating. I gave a few of these a listen and it's surprising how good and quality they are. Really, I couldn't tell the difference between AI and real music. I don't know whether to be concerned or impressed. Now to actually create the song, you just need to include a description and make sure you select custom mode if you want to include your own lyrics. Typical things you're gonna want to include in the description are the genre and what the song is about. But there's a whole bunch of other advanced prompting tips that I'll be going over to get the best results. You could write your own lyrics if you want, or you can generate them. Over here you have style of music and title. So if we generate our own lyrics here, you'll start to see the structure in which Suno generates songs. For example, verse in brackets chorus, and the bridge. There's also parentheses here that will generate backup singers for these parts. In the parentheses, you could also put different things like ad-libs, drum solo, guitar solo, stuff like that. In the text prompt box, describe the essence of the song you want Suno to generate. So include the genre. This can be pop, hip hop, ambient, etc. The overall mood and feeling. So you can do uplifting, scary, raw, filtered, happy, sad. Include your tempo and pace. This is expressed as BPM. So anything from 40 BPM to 180 BPM for the best results. And you can also include what type of instruments you want. So drums, bass, piano, strings. Next, explain the song theme and the topic. Length, define the duration from 5 seconds to 10 minutes. Although it is one minute on the free package, but you can stitch the songs together to make it a complete duration. You can also include time signature, so 4-4 four, four, or 6-8. You can pick a musical key like A minor or C major. And in the lyrics box, make sure to include the lyrics if you choose to write them. Now, obviously you don't have to include all of these little prompts, but that's just if you want to create a very, very specific song. But if you do want to get specific with the structure of your song, you can include start in brackets, intro, include verse, chorus, bridge, which is usually between the chorus and the second chorus. You could also include parentheses, with record scratching to have some record scratches in the song. And if you want drum solos, guitar solos, outros, anything like that, you all include those in little parentheses. And you could also include bracket fade out, bracket outro, or bracket end. Ultimately, the best way to test out the prompts is to try it out for yourself and see what works for you. I've had way too much fun using this AI. And with some of the songs that I've been generating, I'm really starting to question if those radio hits we constantly hear are actually made by a human. Now, if you want to use the software that Sly the Rapper used for his fake AI song, it's also very simple. It's called Jammable. You can make AI covers from anyone to Homer Simpson to Kanye West. All you have to do is sign up and drop an audio file or a YouTube link and the AI does the rest. There's even a text-to-speech feature if you just want dialogue. It's kind of crazy how good these models are, and with them only getting better, the future of the music industry is uncertain.